Hey everyone, so welcome back and this time I'm making more of a day in a life kind of video where I will be documenting about how I actually build a project. Like some people think that I just get an idea, I build it and then I just post about it on every social media that exists. But it's not always like that. So I will be showing it to you how I get an idea, how I try to execute it, how I fail it, then how I try to build something else. So just stay tuned and I will be showing it to you all, everything. Hey everyone, so it's 12 17 pm right now over here, and I just got an idea. So basically, uh, I was thinking to create a web extension because whenever I'm on a live stream, the chat delays by a lot of seconds, which is actually not a good thing when, when we see it in terms of the viewer or you know the streamer. Because if let's say if he's asking some question right now and I'll answer him at the moment, it will reach to him like after 15 to 20 seconds and sometimes even a minute which is not actually a good good thing so i thought why not just build extension for it so that you know they can communicate in real time it it, it, it can make a really huge difference i believe so uh i don't think so it will be an issue like i can just use maybe socket io react js and uh, node express in the back end and i don't think so even i have to make any kind of you know uh what we say yeah any kind of database i don't think so we need it for now like it will be just a small scale web extension so it shouldn't be an issue so i will be building it let's see how it goes i will like take you through it and for now i've just forked a repository from github so it's just a boilerplate and i will be building on top of it so i started working on it using the forked repository that i had but that was an issue the thing is it was quite complex and i didn't build it by myself right it was a fog by boilerplate so it took me like an hour to realize that it will be a lot easier if i just you know work on it from scratch so i did that later on but yeah i spent some time to you know just go through the code base and figure out how it's working but then eventually figured out that it will be just way easier if i go from scratch and i will be able to learn a thing or two more than what I'm learning right now. So I'm kind of done with the UI, like it's not the best, but it works like. And just got freshened up and thought, instead of using Socket.io, maybe I can give AppWriter a try. Like I've been thinking to you know use it for a really long time, but I never got the opportunity to do so. So I'm thinking I will just give it a try. If it works, then well and good. If it doesn't, I will just go back to Socket.io. Like it will work, that's for sure, but it just depends on their documentation. If it's easy enough, then only I will uh, give, give my time to it or else I will just uh, move on to Socket.io because I'm more comfortable with it. And for the UI, once I'm done with the MVP, I will iterate through it. Like that's what I do like in my most of my projects. I just work, make the MVP work and once it's it's there, I just iterate through it, make the UI good and that, that's, how I, that's how I build my all of my projects almost. So yeah, let's, let's go and uh, try to integrate it. So I'm abandoning that project and the reason is because it is actually not solving that problem like even I was almost done okay I, I was done I just had to create a room with the ID of YouTube video and I was done but it wasn't actually solving that problem and it sucks that I realized it that that late <laughs> so I like I have like tons of you know unfinished project or projects that I just abandoned in the middle so it's fine it's fine I guess but it's yeah it's the first project for this year but yeah it's fine
so now i have like two options one is to basically work on dev match and work on the interesting uh interested you know in the interested section they will basically you know add that okay i'm working on this project if you want to join me hit me up and the second one is basically to participate in a competition with uh edward and uh, his github uh github project name is alpha simulator <laughs> i don't know why uh, i really don't know why so i either i will work on dev match or on this hackathon project if i work on this hackathon project i will have to use swelt and swelt actually sucks you know it, it looks weird like it's easy it's you know it's, it's good for beginners but it just sucks and react is much better react on next yes but yeah we'll have to work with it so we'll figure it out in a while like if i'm gonna work on that match on on this project if i work on this hackathon project then i might win something which will make my week so that's tempting but yeah we'll just let you know so I've decided that I won't be going ahead with the hackathon this time because I have already been to like two hackathons uh, this month and there are two more uh, coming up. Like next weekend, I will be participating in the Web3 apps by MLH and after that, I will be going to Toronto for the UFT hacks. So I already have like two hackathons in my mind. So I won't be attending anymore for this, like for this weekend at least. And after that, I have like three hackathons upcoming. So that that should be you know good and i have a lot of backlog in terms of uh, lectures like i missed three lectures earlier so i have to figure it out and just you know learn stuff that they were teaching in those lectures hopefully they will they have like uploaded their slides on your courses like that's where they basically upload everything there's course syllabus and everything so i will be just going there and figure it out and hopefully it should be good uh, it, it, it's the first week so i don't think so they taught that that much thing and i will be just working on the interested section on dev mesh right now and after that we'll be just going to the student lounge which is which is on 14th floor and duke will be there as well and we will be like doing a little bit things on with javascript maybe build a some small project or we'll just teach him a thing or two about javascript because he's actually learning that he's good with html css now like he, he just started like a week ago and he's pretty good you know he he's coming things up really fast so we'll be just doing that uh like tonight maybe and before that i have to complete this interest section so for this interest section i just have this idea that wait i'll just show it to you that would be easier so i'll just show it to you how it, it is going to work and i just have an overall idea i'll just you know maybe iterate through it while working on it and figure it out so at the moment i have a lot of projects running uh, around in my local device because the thing is, I don't want to pay for any kind of servers. Uh, so what I do is I basically use the free tier of Blender. Blender basically lets you uh, host your server, but there is one cat. So basically, if you if it doesn't have any kind of, you know, things in the last 20 to 30 minutes, maybe it just stops the server. And if it gets another ping, it will just start it. So it, it's not a good experience for the users. So what I do is I basically wrote a script which will call it every 15 minutes i guess yeah i just wrote a small script node.js and it's working so it doesn't have to pay for pay for anything now i will just show it to you that will be easier yeah as you can see it's just a small script you know and over here it's just making a request and this app just set set uh, set interval so after every 15 minutes it will just make a request to this particular backend server and don't try to make any you know spam requests i have or uh, what we say yeah, I have a rate limiting over there, so I don't have to worry about it, but yeah, still. And yeah, you can see uh, it makes a request to it every 15 minutes. If I scroll, scroll it up, you could see, you know, those kind of requests. Yeah, that's how I make, you know, make the best out of my money. I don't want to want to sp uh, spend anything on server, at least. There is one way to basically use a server, like paid server that is from Heroku. But for that, you need to add your credit card. And I don't know why, like my credit card is fine, okay? But it's still not accepting my card. So I thought... Why not just let's just you know go with render for now maybe i will figure it out later on but for now i'm just uh, going ahead with render and hosting all of my servers over there i don't think so it will be good to do that uh, in future for dive match because dive match now has like thousand plus users so i think i will have to move move it to aws or something but for now until it's working it's fine hmm. so let's go ahead and work on the interesting section interested section uh, on dev match so people help you and if you're successful you are expected to pay it forward and that's been great to see at just among the yc companies ability to form these per hey yeah so right now i'm trying to figure out how how i'm gonna do that so i think i have two options let me just show you so over here yeah let me just show it to you 
over here i already have this section where it, let me just close this and then show it to you so over here we have this edit button right so when we click on this we, we can add interest but i was thinking maybe i can add all the repositories over here so that they can just click on any of them and add it to their profile so it will be like two features at the same time like at the same time they will be able to add some of their favorite repositories in their uh, profile and after that they can just import it in their uh, interested section so that's the idea now let's see i'm not sure if that's the best one but yeah Let, let's go ahead with it and if it doesn't look good we'll just iterate through it so hey yeah so i'm actually getting the data over here right now in this interesting section so i will just show you uh, what are the things that i'm getting and what of what what kind of you know parameters i will be using in order to show it on in the interesting section so let's see over here these are the data that we get actually from the uh, api from the github api basically so they have you know license of that particular repo so this particular information is about the you know, repo and we will be able to see if it is forked or not as well so a lot of wait where is the fork it should be somewhere here yeah fork true because this repository is basically forked from application like that's the uh, organization that i used to contribute to i don't like i i even want to do that right now but it said i don't have that much time but it's, it's a pretty good cool organization if you want to contribute to it i will just add the uh, link in the description The interested section is almost done it's done in terms of ui so we are good for it for now but i got another idea so i was thinking like i had this idea earlier as well i tweeted about it on twitter and uh, people liked it and people wanted to use it like a you uh maybe a, a, like an app okay where people can download music from youtube directly maybe it's already there i don't know uh but the thing was the, the main issue is over here is spotify because Whenever we are trying to skip a song to a particular, you know, timeline, it gives it, it gives us another that like yeah, you can only do that if you are a paid member, and that actually sucks. And I personally use Amazon Prime Music, and even th they don't let me even play the music that I want to play. They just you know shuffle it around and just play something similar to it. And I don't want that. I want to listen to a specific music. But in terms of recommendation, YouTube algorithm is amazing so i was thinking maybe that let's just create a small app which will basically you know uh, give the user like and like user can just paste the link of the youtube video maybe or youtube playlist and it will download it for them and then they can just play it using their own local uh, youtube not not youtube i mean using their own local music app so i was thinking to do that and i just saw a video that jason posted a long time ago like two, two, three, two to three years ago i guess so it was one of his projects where, where he built something using this spotify api so i was thinking like that actually inspired me to you know work on something like this because i had this idea earlier too but i didn't work on it because i was too lazy but now that uh, dev match thing is done too wait let me just show you now that dev match is done as well uh, i will uh, I can't make like two posts on LinkedIn at the same time, so I will be posting about it tomorrow. So I think I will just go ahead and work on this, uh, you know, new thing. <laughs> so I will be using Python this time because I actually want to work with Python, uh, like professionally as well. Maybe in future, uh, like there is something uh, that I won't, I, I won't share about it right now, but yeah, in future I will. So I wanted to use Python more. So that's why I will be creating a Flask, maybe, uh, you know, Flask server, which will send. Uh, response as the music video not music video i mean music audio to the front end so initially for the mvp i will just create a web app with it using streamlit so it should be pretty easy it shouldn't take much time like maybe a few lines of code should be good and python actually has a lot of libraries which you know helps us to download like use do these kind of things uh, i don't know why like that that is not much of a uh, library in terms of javascript for specifically made for this that is one thing called ytdl but I don't know why it wasn't working for me. So I just, at that time, like earlier when I had that idea. So I thought like, let's, for now, let's just go with uh, Python. It should be easy. So yeah, let's, let's, let's get started with building it. So it's been around 15 minutes that I started working on this project. And it's almost done. Like the MVP is done, not 
completely the entire app is not done but i will just show you the mvp how it looks like and how it works so let's go i actually built it in my windows device instead of building it in uh, mac os because it was giving me some issues uh, while playing the audio so i just thought let's just go with this one so i've already downloaded an audio but let's make let me just uh, cut this url and reload it and now i will uh, just you know paste this url click on download it is running as you can see over there and yeah it's downloaded successfully now i can click on download audio and i will get the down audio video here yeah, so it's here let me just download it it's downloaded if i click on it then i should be able to play it yeah i'm able to play it right like, I have a smartphone. so it's working now i will work on the app so I improved it a little bit like whenever we upload it to the server so the server will get cluttered because of so many audios if there are you know many people using it so I just wrote a small script which will basically uh, go through it and delete all the mp3 files in every two minutes so that's a small hack that I've added for now so it, it, it works so for my personal usage it will be fine and I will be adding support for playlists too later on but for today, I think this should be it. So if you had seen the entire video, so I started with another idea with a different one and then I just abandoned it in the middle and then I started working on a different feature for deathmatch. I completed half of it, not half, like more than half and then uh, stopped working on it as well. And then I got this di complete different idea and then started working on that. So actually, this is how I work like all the time. I have like 50 plus working projects, which are, you know, over there on my GitHub. Some of them are private, but most of them are uh, public. So you can check it out if you want to. But this is how I, you know, normally work. I get an idea, I start working on it. And the middle, maybe sometimes I figure out that, okay, this is not actually needed or I just lose the motivation to do it. So I just abandon it. And I think it's it's completely fine and unless you are, you know, building and learning something. So as you can see, I worked with Streamlit and Python today. I don't usually do it, but today I did that. So it's just about, you know, having fun, solving things that you think is necessary for you. Like this is not a, you know, huge problem that I'm sort of trying to solve. It's just something that I personally face a lot so i thought why not just you know build something to fix it so i will be creating a react native app for it to you know play locally because right now if i try to play it locally then it won't you know automatically play the next music i have to open the app and play the uh, next one so i think a uh, music app from apple doesn't let you do that like doesn't let you play the local songs over there so that's an issue so i will be just creating a simple react native app and it should be fine so that that shouldn't be an issue but we'll do it maybe uh tonight but i think for today i will just edit this video and upload it because i have this plan of doing it like we'll be trying to do it every day not sure if i will be able to do so but yeah it was fun building it and i hope you learned something from it and the code is actually public so I will add the link of the repository uh, in the description. You can check it out if you want to. And if you want to contribute, we add some features in it. Feel free to do that. And it's it's a complete basic, you know, Python script. You can you can figure it out. So yeah, if you have still any questions, just let me know.